What is going on, Freedom Fighters? Welcome back to another broadcast of Break the Chains Media. Today is Tuesday, September 7th, 2021, and you're watching Tyranny Response Tuesdays. I am your host, Corey. We're going to talk today about a great movie that my son and I watched yesterday, and we're going to be going over a synopsis and storylines, and I wanted to let you know about potential spoilers if you haven't seen it, but it is a fantastic film, and I encourage everyone to watch it. We're talking about Free Guy. We're talking about the Ryan Reynolds movie that came out called Free Guy, where an NPC character in a video game decides that there is more to his mundane programmed life. And we're going to do a couple... Uh, kind of a critical film analysis. I did go to film school, so I kind of always watch movies with these kind of critical lenses. But going into this movie, I thought it was going to be just kind of like a fr fun, friendly kid movie, and which it is. But there's much more that goes into this film. And I just want to let you know there are potential spoilers coming ahead. So if you haven't seen it yet, um, I encourage you to do. But we will be talking about some scenes and just how the whole movie rundown is. But first, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, I encourage you to please hit that subscribe button, share this with your friends and family. We do all kinds of stuff, political, social, geopolitical, all these kind of things. Um, we're also talking about media, culture, and all these, all the fun stuff. So, um, yeah, definitely check it out, share it with your friends. I encourage you to find me on Telegram, BitChute, Minds, Rumble, Gab, all the good stuff. Um, you can find me at Break the Chains Media. But, folks, we're going to go into it here. Uh, we're going to be talking about Free Guy. And this is a fantastic film. Like I said, it's it's very fun, friendly, exciting, energetic. Um, the story and the synopsis is pretty uh, pretty pretty straightforward. Um, a video game is played. I don't know if you guys have seen Ready Player One, but it's very has very Ready Player One feels and vibes. And um, so, anyways, R uh, Ryan Reynolds plays a NPC, which is a non-playable character in this video game, a uh, multiplayer video game, online playing with millions of people around the world playing it. And um, the synopsis is essentially, uh, there is a video game, people are playing it, and uh, there are two, two, main, two of the main characters got their program stolen, their video game concept stolen from Taika Watiti, who is the director of this current game called Free City. And Taika Watiti plays this Free City director and essentially, they're, the two main characters are trying to prove that Taika, his character, stole their original game concept of a artificial intelligent NPC video game AI. So essentially, these NPC uh, characters can develop their own AI based on the um, real, life play, uh, real life player characters, and it can kind of evolve and develop in, into its own intelligence. And Ryan Reynolds, we follow the story of Ryan Reynolds, and he basically um, meets one of these uh, real-life players in the game, and his programming is shifted, and his programming is changed once he in interacts with this character. And um, going into that further, there's basically all the players wear sunglasses, wear, wear glasses, and these glasses show the real world and it shows it in the trailers but the, these glasses and these uh the lenses that the that ryan reynolds character puts on shows all of the the health the health packs the um all the player the player interacting objects like garages and and social lounges and multiplayer um information all the stuff that a real life gamer would see in the world ryan reynolds as the npc has never seen these things so as he puts the glasses on, it reminds me very much of uh, the movie They Live. And if you guys, if you guys haven't seen the movie They Live, it came out in 1988, but it's essentially very much that vibe as well, where it talks about where, where, where he puts on the glasses and he actually can see the world for what it really is. And he can see through all the propaganda, through the lies, through the, the manipulation of the world. And these glasses show the real villains of the world, so to speak. So it, it, it's a very much reminiscent story of, uh, very much reminiscent story of a mix between the movies They Live, the movie Ready Player One, and the movie The Matrix. And I feel like this is a good, uh, a good um, representation of what the movie Free Guy is. Because... As the movie goes on, Ryan Reynolds, his programming is changing and he realizes that he doesn't have to be this 
because his, his his character takes place. He's a bank teller in the video game, and the bank teller always gets his ro- always gets robbed. And his buddy, the security guard there, their their regular r- routine life is wake up, have coffee, go to work, get robbed, and re- repeat, 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 repeat. Living the same mundane life until he meets his character, puts on the glasses, and then his whole world is 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 just shattered. And he and he finds out that there's more to his life. There's more. He can do more in his life than what is actually been lived his whole life. And um, there's some really great scenes as the movie progresses. And uh, the the Taika Watiti character, he wants to. He's trying to push out this new game. And the two, these two other characters in the real world um, are trying to prove that Taika Waititi stole their game. So they're trying to find a way to prove that in the game Free City is actually a hidden code of their original game um, programming. And uh, Ryan Reynolds' character, he ends up showing this real-life player who's trying to get the information. He actually ends up showing them that... It's in. It's hidden in the reflections of the video game. So he sees this uh, real. He sees the original game files in a reflection that's blocked behind a barrier wall in the game. So they're basically what has to happen now is they're trying to um, move through this, move through Free City, and try to break through this barrier and trying to um, prove that Taika Waititi did steal these game files. All in all, this this story takes place and. Um, there's a really pivotal scene that it's towards the end of the movie. And this is this is kind of the the shifting arc of the narrative, where um, Ryan Reynolds' character has his big speech with all the other NPCs, saying, "You know, we can make a difference. We can. We don't have to be living the same life. Don't you guys? Don't you guys feel that there's more to this life than living the same?" routine cycles and and having the same programming every day every time all the time the same thing don't you guys want to live a better life a more fulfilling life and all these npcs which are which are um rudimentally programmed by this initial artificial intelligence ai that the two original creators in the real world wrote that taika watiti's character hid within his game free city all of these characters are now breaking their programming and they're and and um they get to this point where where ryan reynolds says this is this is what we do folks we don't go to work we don't show up to our jobs we don't do the things that our game file explains us to do our our game programming tells us we need to do so there's a scene in the movie which is just absolutely brilliant where taika watiti's game developers trying to program this um he's basically trying to get all the npcs to attack these two players to stop them from showing that this game is hidden behind free city's game files right so this this programmer in the real world sitting there he's trying to he's trying to tell like the 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 military and the police and all the npcs in the game to go do this and the character and and the programmer in the in the in the movie is like there's no none of the NPCs are there. I can't program anyone to do anything. All the, the 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 police aren't there. The security isn't there. And all these NPCs in the game have basically boycotted and 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 basically did a civil disobedience and a peaceful protest in a way of just not doing what they're supposed to do. So all these game all the players all the real life players within the game are walking around and no one's at the bank. No cops are running around. No militaries. No military is attacking them, and uh, it's just a completely empty city. Meanwhile, all these NPCs are sitting there having a good time at a coffee shop and just, you know, civil disobedience and doing the right and, and just doing doing right by them and living their own life. And it just it just hit me real it hit me deeply because this is the this is the kind of stuff that we can apply to our daily lives, you know. And this is a kids' movie, so these kids are sitting here watching this, and it's fun and it's friendly and it's exciting and, and it's engaging. But you know, you look at these other these these bigger lenses, and you understand that like Ryan Reynolds is a is a genius for for putting out this kind of this kind of movie that wakens a younger younger demographic up as well as you know people my age and whoever wants to see the movie. If you if you look at it more than just like a simple fun kid kid, kid movie, you can see these these narratives being displayed on on you know out out in the open, and um. 
in the end of the movie, uh, this is um, this is Ryan, Ryan Reynolds' character, Free Guy, is trying to get past this barrier that's blocking that that's blocked Free City from the original game file, which they're trying to to um, expose and show that Taika Waititi's character did in fact steal their original game, and they're trying they're trying to prove that in within the game. So. Uh, Ryan Reynolds' character ends up fighting another version of himself that Taika Waititi's uh, game developers built, but he's all jacked and he's ripped and it's funny. It's basically a super muscle dude with Ryan Reynolds' face and he's like very like dumb-witted and like goofy. And Ryan Reynolds is 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 pulling out all the stops. He's he puts on his glasses. He he throws some he throws some punches and there's some references, pop culture references. It's really funny. Um, but then what he ends up doing, he knows he can't win against this big hulking brute. So what it, what does he do? He puts the glasses on this character and this character ends up seeing the, the player world, the player world inside the game. And he starts, you know, it's, it's very funny, but he ends up running off and chasing all these little, uh, you know, the health packs and the music packs and all the fun little sparkly things. And, and, and it distracts him from what's actually going on. Then Ryan Reynolds' character runs across this bridge in, into the ocean. While Meanwhile, in the real world, Taika Waititi's character is destroying all the servers that are, that are supporting this game in the real world. So he's sitting there with an axe and breaking the game, breaking the servers, just pulling out all the stops. Taika Waititi's character represents um, the, the power structure, the elites, corporations, big pharma, you name it. Apply, apply it however you will in our world. Where they're pulling out all the stops, they're destroying our world. They're breaking down our society. They're they're completely ruining how we live our normal lives because that he's not getting what he wants. They're, he's not getting his control. He's not getting his power. He's not getting his money, his greed. So, Ryan Reynolds' character is running across, running across. Meanwhile, the the this, the the in-game world is slowly being destroyed and dismantled, and then we get to this moment where he. He, he, him and his, him and his security guard friend, um, who, who, uh, back in the beginning of the story, Ryan Reynolds tried to give the glasses to the security guard friend, and the security guard friend, this is an NPC character in the game, he refused to put on the glasses because he, he was just in complete denial of the, of the bigger world around him. He was happy living his little security guard life. He was happy living in this small little bubble that he just felt comfortable in. And, then, and, and and that just is another another point in this movie where you might have friends and family and people you know that just refuse to objectively see the reality as we see it, you know, as, as freedom fighters like you and I see it. And these people are in complete denial of what's happening in the world and they just don't want to see with, with objective real lenses. And that, that security guard represents that type of character in this in our world. And then fast forward to the end of the movie where they're running down this bridge together and the bridge breaks. Ryan Reynolds is on one side; he's on the other. And and the security guard guy says, "You know, I I don't see what you see, but I'm going to support you, and I love you, and I'll see you on the other side." And he ends up he ends up being, you know, erased by the data. And as the servers are being destroyed, he gets destroyed. Ryan Reynolds jumps to the jumps through this barrier, and then exposes the original game files. He exposes. This world with with uh, trees and uh, magical building, uh, uh, like a space building, and and f and life is everywhere, and it's it's a very vibrant island, and it exposes the real game files behind this game called Free City. Then, uh, into the real world, Taika Waititi's character gets exp uh, gets exposed for what he was really doing. He really hid he he hid the real game. He hid, aka, the real world behind. Our eyes. He 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 blinded us from the reality that is, and now that the original the original two characters that wrote those game files are now able to own that game and produce that game and successfully distribute that game to all players that have originally been playing Free City, and now they call this game Free Life, and just those two names, Free City, and then Free Life. Free City is that is that concrete jungle, that corporatism, that um. Uh, big government, big structure in, in this in this t in this technocracy state that you need to live in this game and it's and it's bang bang shoot 'em up explosions action all this stuff. It's the game itself is very reminiscent in, in the movie. It's very reminiscent of like a Grand Theft Auto type battle royale multiplayer type game. Um, but the game Free Life 
was about um, the players being involved in this in this procedurally generated procedurally generated artificial intelligent NPC world, where the game builds around the interactions and the uh, connections between the, the the real life players who play the game. So this game basically builds and evolves as these characters, as the uh, players interact with these NPCs, and, and it kind of creates its own world. So in the end, you see, you see this this city taken over by jungle, and it's and it's this very much like free, uh, like just a free expression of everything. You see dinosaurs and spaceships, and and this this massive explosion of technology and 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 nature and environment and. Everyone's living whatever life they want, and the NPCs are just running the streets and being happy as could be because they don't have to live by the control system, by the programming that was originally established by Free City Game. And then, the very end, so the security guard is actually back now, and he asked the question to Ryan Reynolds' character, you know, what do we do now in this, in this free life game? Like, we don't have, we don't have the bank. We, I, don't, I don't know how to be a security guard. Like, what do we do? And Ryan Reynolds says, there is no bank. We don't need to work those jobs anymore. We can do whatever we want. And, and that, that, folks, is, is, the, is the real essence of this game, or the, the game and overall the movie, is that we can break free from our conditioning. We can break free from our programming. We can see the world for what it really is. And people that might not use the lenses and use the glasses... We can, we can bring them along and we can show them the truth and show them reality and we can see beyond the veil that has been built by, by the establishment, by the elites, by this global uh, tyranny state that's around us. And I just thought it was a really good movie. Uh, it, it's not exactly a Tyranny Response Tuesday video, but in, in essence it is because we need, we need uh, moments like this in, in culture and in um, movies and in media and in these kind of things that spark that type of thinking, spark that type of discussion. And this movie is fantastic. I, I really can't I can't encourage it enough. And it, it just it's such a great uh, allegory to how we live today and what we can do. And um, you know they've done a really great job. And I. Definitely er, encourage everyone to go check it out. Um, folks, thanks for hanging out with me here. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys got a little bit more insight to this movie. And uh, I'll be posting another video very soon. But until then, folks, we can continue the fight for freedom. And as always, keep fighting for freedom.